This is day two of not feeling well. And you know what? For being sick yesterday, I had one heck of a day. It was sunny and beautiful and anyway, let's make that coffee. Mornings would not, they would just not be the same without a good cup of coffee. The reason why I'm using this portable burner today, I picked this up quite a while ago because um, it was just nice to have something that I could cook outside the van if I ever needed. But this actually came in as a great backup for me because yesterday I had a propane leak. Yeah, you heard me, a propane leak inside the van. Let me show you. This little arm that comes out of my my stovetop here, this is bolted down to the counter so it doesn't move anywhere. But this arm that comes out here, it was leaking from this fitting, the fitting right there. So I don't know if it's leaking from this piece or if it's leaking from the actual hose, but I could hear this really quiet hissing yesterday. And I was like, what is that? And I came in here and there it is leaking away. And it could be from the way I have it set up because this is kind of like, it's pulled a little bit so i might unscrew this shift my burner back a little bit more just to take the pressure off the end there but uh yeah didn't smell good mm. okay we gotta head back to vancouver i don't want to leave this campground but I, I i gotta visit with my daughter tomorrow she's cute get a bath today. How you feel about that? I'm not dirty. Nah, you just been running around the dirt for the last couple of days. Hey Cruz, wanna have a bath? Wanna have a bath? You're the cutest ever, buddy. Just pulled up to the parking lot at Canadian Tire here in Squamish, BC because I wanted to take a look at what happened with my leaky propane system. And what a great convenient way to do work on your home, then pull your home up to the front door of the business that you just might need parts from or supplies or anything else. Like I put the insulation in my van in the parking lot of Home Depot. So uh, anyway, today, um, turns out I didn't need anything, no parts, no major repairs, no nothing. It turned out to be something that could have been solved with just like maybe a monthly general overall van checklist. So let me show you what happened. So my burner is mounted to the counter and it's probably been here for a year and some. And uh, it's got this little brass fitting, I think it's brass, that comes out the side of it. And I've connected a five foot propane hose to it. And the reason why I use these bottles is because I don't cook enough and that actually works really, really well for me. And uh, I also didn't want to run these hoses across the van to my propane bottle because either way I have a propane source here and a propane source here one of those hoses would have to cross the van and I just was worried about rocking and all of a sudden splitting a hose and all of a sudden you got a major major problem so wh what I've done here is I've just taken this thrown it down the back of my burner here and it's just been kind of sitting back there since I did it and that space behind my thing is usually where I stuff my jackets and stuff things that I just don't want to see in my van. But over time, with all the bumpy road driving I've been doing and uh, stuffing jackets and pulling jackets out, my propane bottle, my propane bottle has shifted around quite a bit. And actually, what it did is it unscrewed the hose from that fitting there 
creating a tiny bit of a leak enough for the gas to get out and enough for me to like hear it. So all it took to fix that was another bead of Teflon tape around there and a wrench to tighten that thing right tight. Now it's not leaking at all. But on that note, this would have been solved if I would have had like a monthly checklist of things to take a look at in the van and make sure things are secured, all your fittings are tight. So kind of like as an example, your van's gonna be different than my van. So putting together like a monthly list on your phone that pops up as a reminder on the first of every month going bing, please check your regular van stuff in the van. So for me, it would be checking all my propane fittings, checking out any screws that secure cabinets to the walls. And that is true, check this out. See that screw right there? That's holding my wall panel in. Um, yeah. So as you're driving around, the van's gonna be moving around and it's going to rock things loose, like this cabinet. Yeah, there's <laughs> a whole bunch of L brackets holding it to a wall, to the wall and it's also L bracketed to the steel in the floor so the bottom is secure. But some of the top screws have actually come out so it's time for me to go through this whole van and make sure everything is secure. So it may be a good idea for you guys to put together like a monthly list of things that you think are great to check on. So during that time you could also add, you know, checking your fluids in your van and all the other general van maintenance you might need to do because that propane issue could have been something very, very major if I let it get to that point. Like what if I was burning something here and all of a sudden, psh, boom, come on. That could have turned sideways real fast, real quick. But um, yeah, so I think it might be a great idea for you guys to put together a list. I know I'm gonna do it just for general things. Like for me, all I really wanna do is all my propane fittings and uh, all my screws that are securing anything into the van, to the floor, to the wall, because that is so, so important. Because even this thing is rocking a little loose in the back. I had to screw it down the other day. And now, as you can tell, my screws that are holding my panels to my wall, you know, that's my fault for driving on those washboard rocky roads. But you might want to think about that. I think putting that list together is a damn good idea. If there's any items or anything on the van that you guys can think about that would be awesome to throw on a weekly or a monthly van checklist, please blast them in the comments down below because I know some of you are a bundle of knowledge and you could help out myself or somebody else in the community create the ultimate list. Let's compile an amazing list of stuff that'll help keep your vans top notch inside and out. It'd be so super rad because I myself would have never have thought about going through my entire van and giving my screws a little bit of a quick quarter turn or something just to make sure that they're secure instead of waiting until you can see a screw dangling out of the wall or you got cabinets that are like rocking off the wall until things are too late and you've actually caused damage. So right now, I just wanna say thank you to whoever made propane smell like a nasty, gross, dirty fart, because if it wasn't for you, that could have been a pretty nasty situation. Thankfully, I was not cooking on the oven at that time. Um, I just happened to move something back there and I heard a shh, like, whoa, that's not good. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you for the fart guy who created that smell. <laughs> All right, we're going to let you go. Thanks for watching this one today. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and thumbs down, thumbs up, and Patreon, and all that stuff. And Cruz, the little bulldoggy, he's got his own YouTube channel. So please go on over there and check out his channel. Links are in the description. And if I remember, I'll pop his little boom right here at the end, and you can just hit that button. So while you're talking to my face, Cruz's channel, my channel, Patreon, and a playlist that's probably covering my face. Okay, guys, peace out.